Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Karen Prince. Thank you for clicking on this video. Today, I am just going to show you guys how I achieve these knotless tree braids. You can call them box braids if you want to, but just want to show you how I achieve these braids using synthetic in human hair. So if you are interested, please stay tuned. Okay, so starting off with the hair details, this is what I'm using for the synthetic hair. It is the Spectra Easy Braid Professional Pre-Stretch Braiding Hair. I used three packs, came in the color number one, and this particular hair is 20 inches, $3.50 each, and it was purchased from my local beauty supply. Now for the human hair, we went with a Jazz Wave, just bought um, a regular pack of human hair from our beauty supply and we only used one pack of this. It came in the color number one, went for 12 inches and here you can see the texture and this hair was $30, okay? Um, I want to go ahead and just take it out of the pack so you can see what it looks like fresh out of the pack. It does look different once it's wet, okay? So keep that in mind. So now I'm just going to separate the strands of hair using my thumb. Just break them apart so that I get them down to the size that I want them to be for adding them into the braid. And that's kind of what it looks like at this point. Okay, so this right here is about the amount of hair I put in every time I add in a piece of human hair. I just cut it off the track and this is what it looks like. You can add more or less. It's all up to how you want the style to look. Okay, so I've already completed some bottom rows, but here I am just showing you how I part the hair. I go ahead and I put the um, Organics Edge Gel just on the perimeter of the parts to keep my part clean and I use the end of my rat tail comb. Okay, so first using that synthetic pre-stretch hair, this is what it's looking like. I use three pieces for each braid and this is about the size I use. Every piece is the same size. Okay, so first I am going to start to braid with her natural hair only. And I'm just going to braid a little ways down. I do appreciate, I mean, apologize for this angle. I didn't mean to do that. But anywho, so now I'm just going to take a piece of that synthetic hair, put it in between my pointer finger and my thumb, leaving one piece out. And I'm going to begin to braid down just a little bit and then grab that hair that I left out and pull it down into the braid in between my pointer finger and thumb, braid down a little more, add that next piece in in the same way, in between my thumb and pointer finger, leaving one piece hanging out, braid down a little ways, and then bring that other piece into the braid, into that middle strand, and braid down. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add that last piece in the same way. Just placing it where the middle strand is, leaving one piece out, letting it kind of rest on her head, braid down a little bit, and then bring it down into the braid and braid down until we're ready to add in the human hair. Okay, so I'm going to add the human hair in now and I'm just adding it in in the same way as I added the synthetic hair, adding it into that middle strand. But a tip is I like to use a clip to clip the human hair onto the braid while I start to braid down because the human hair can kind of slip out sometime. You know, if you're an expert at doing this, you don't have to use the clip, but I find that it helps keep the human hair out of the way while I'm braiding down and I'm just going to add in three pieces of human hair on this braid um, one at the top one in the middle and one towards the bottom so that is pretty much it as far as adding the human hair in and I just braid down I didn't tie these I didn't add any glue I just braided the end and I'll just allow you guys to watch so you can see what I what I mean when I say I braided the end 
And another thing I wanted to add is that, um, you know, you can add these pieces in wherever you like. At the bottom, like the first couple of rows of her head, I only added them in at the very ends of her braids, which I found that it wasn't giving me the effect that I wanted because the hair is a little short, 12 inches, um, was a little too short. So that's when I decided to go in and add it in like a tree braid. Now you can add these pieces of human hair however you like you can get longer hair you can you know really do whatever you want with this style i just want to show you guys my technique and how i achieved this look and hopefully it may help you out and so this is what the braid looks like after you know you've added your human hair pieces in and stuff like that now i did go ahead and finish her hair off camera and this was the end result okay this is after i dipped her hair so this is what the human hair looks like now um depending on what type of hair you add in as far as the curly hair if it is synthetic and you dip it in hot water it will damage the curl okay so be careful when you put in the curly ends and that is not a human synthetic blend that you're buying and it's just purely a human hair blend so that when you dip the braids the curl doesn't come loose but yeah this is what her parting is looking like she has a total of 88 braids in her hair and yeah guys that is pretty much it i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know if you'll try this style out down in the comment section and Thank you guys for watching and I oh almost forgot one more thing I want to let you guys know um like I said I did buy one pack of hair for this for the human hair ends on the bottom and this is how much hair that was left over okay so I didn't actually use all of the um full pack of the human hair all right so just want to show you guys that but like I said, thank you for stopping by and I will see you guys later. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and bye.